measurement of study variables. So, let us understand what are the different types of data that we can have qualitative as well as quantitative. So, in qualitative data, that means we cannot count them, we cannot quantify them, it is some kind of quality. So, in that, we have two kinds of data nominal and ordinal. Nominal means it is totally pure quality, color of ice, for example, it could be green, red, something like that. Ordinal will have some kind of order in the data. For example, mild, moderate, severe, low, high, or stage 1, 2, 3, like this. While quantitative data we can classify into discrete and continuous. Discrete is usually a full number. Right? That means 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. While continuous can have a decimal point, like 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, like that. I can read, for example. So, all are example of nominal gender, age, place, color, except. So, H is basically having a number. So, this quantity we could have here is also here. Lower, lower middle, upper middle, upper. So, there is order here. So, it is ordinal data. Normal pre-hypertension, stage 1, stage 2 hypertension, there is written order here. So, it is ordinal data. Number of children per household is an example of continuous variable. No, it is not continuous. Children are usually discrete numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. We cannot have 1.1 children, right? So, this statement is false. Height is a continuous variable, true. It is continuous data. Researcher has height of 100 children, it is continuous data. Cholesterol, it is a continuous variable because we can have decimal values, right? Now there are two values, one is central value and another is dispersion, so let us first see central values. So central values is basically uh, summarization of our data and the best way to summarize our data is to find an average of the data. So for that we have three measures, mean, mode and median. So mean, the arithmetic mean is most commonly used measure of central tendency. Sometimes it is simply called as mean. It is basically sum of all observations divided by the total number of observations. For example, age of 10 pregnant women are given. So if you go find out their mean, uh, do the sum and, for, uh, and divide it by 10. Right? Then median. When our data uh, has extreme values, right? Some are very small, some are very large. Uh, then uh, we divide the distribution exactly into two halves. We will take the middle values. Uh, if n is odd, if uh, the observation number is even, then we take average middle to value. For example, 11 patients are there, uh, and you can see uh, duration of hospital stay is mentioned. So, some patients have only one day, and some is having 80 days. But the rest of the values are uh, in between. Right. So first we have to arrange the data in ascending order and then because it is odd number we will take the exact middle value that is the sixth value right mode is basically the value that is repeated most of the times right and it is usually used for nominal data but can be used for uh, quantitative data as well for example color preference so green yellow white red so maximum color which is preferred is yellow so mode is yellow here so most commonly used measure of central tendency it is mean the age of 10 woman is given what is the mean do the sum and divide it by the 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 10 divided by 10 what is the mean now we know how to calculate it if extreme values are there, the most representative average is median. Scores of uh, students are given in quiz. Median, if we have to find, first we have to arrange that in uh, ascending order. Then, because total number is 10, and it is an uh, even value. So, we will take uh, n plus 1 divided by. Uh, if odd is there, we will take n plus 1 divided by 2. But if it is even value, we can take average of middle two values. So, six plus six divided by two, so we will get six. 
What is the most appropriate way or central tendency of the data which is fasting blood sugar data is there? Now, as you can see, there are extremes of values there 82, 410, so we will take median, right? And median, first we will arrange it in ascending order, and then we will take, because it is a level number, we will take the sixth value that is 120. Find the median in following sample of observation. Now we know how to calculate it. 10 participant hemoglobin is given. What is the mode? So maximum repeated value is 12. So 12 is the mode here. So that was about central value. Now talk about dispersion. So is it enough to know about average of the data? For example, I said that swimming pool average height is 5 feet. But then I will go at certain point and there swimming pool is 9 foot deep. So not only average, but we should also know the range of the data, right? So the variation, how much data is variable, that also we should know. The measure of dispersion or variability are these five. Range, IQR, that is interquartile range, mean deviation, variance in standard deviation and coefficient of variation. So what is range? It is difference between minimum and the maximum value. Advantage, it is quick and easy. Disadvantage, it is influenced by the extra value and it has only two data points. Then we have IQR. First of all, uh, the total range of data is divided into four sections, right? That is 25%, 25%, 25%. Now, IQR is defined as interval between upper quartile and lower quartile, that is Q3 minus Q1. So, range of IQR minimum and maximum, we divide it into uh, four sections. So, first, second, third, and fourth. So, Q3 minus Q1 will give us the IQR. And it is unaffected by extreme values and it is dispersion to report when median is reported as a tendency. Right. The disadvantage is that because it is uh, covering only middle 50% of uh, the observation. Then we have mean deviation from B. It is basically average of absolute deviation of observation from arithmetic mean right so for example we have 10 observation um, so we find the, the difference from the mean and then we take its average now its advantage is that it is based on all observation and it is easy to grasp meaning of the procedure disadvantage is that it ignores the sign of difference of the value uh, of observation and it is not widely used because of we have more better measure uh, than this so what we do uh, we find out variance and standard deviation so first what we will do we will find out the difference from each observation from mean then we will square them right and then uh, that is known as variance right and when we find out square root of that uh, averaged square deviation then it is known as standard deviation now i know this is sounding really tough but it is not actually for example So standard deviation is the square root of average of square deviation from observation from arithmetic mean. Uh, now a lot of people find it difficult to understand it. So let me give you an example of it. So let us look at uh, in this article they calculated the standard deviation. Let us see. 
So here there is a height observation, so participants. Uh, and we have found its mean, it is 68. So what we have now done, we have find out the difference from mean. So x minus x bar. So 68 minus 68 is 0. 71 minus 68 is 3. So this is difference from mean. Now we have squared it. Right. So 3 to 9, 2 to 4, 8 to 64. And then we have found its sum. Right. So uh, if we find uh, average of this, right, this is known as variance. But if we found a square root of this, then it is known as standard deviation. Now I think now it will make more sense that it is square root of average of square deviation from observation from arithmetic mean. The advantage is uh, that it is the most important measure of distribution and it is expressed in same unit of measurement as the observation. Then we have CV or coefficient of variation. It compares the relative variability in different groups. So if you have uh, variables measured in different units, CV is the way to uh, measure the variation. And it is very simple. It is standard deviation divided by mean into 100. So it is independent of unit measurement, so it is useful for comparative variable if two or more samples of data from different variables or same variables when means are very different. So which statistic does not belong to uh, with others? So range, variance, standard deviation or dispersion, mode is center tendency. All our dispersion is except variance, standard deviation, range and dispersion mean is center tendency. What about range is true? It indicates the value cluster about particular node. It gives number of observation gains and value. No. It is difference between minimum and maximum value. Yes. Difference in minimum and maximum value is range. First quarter is equivalent to 25th percentile. Which percentile is equivalent to median 50th? Which of the following is true about IQR? It covers the middle 50 percent observation. What is the appropriate measure of dispersion when median is the center tendency? IQR we have to use for dispersion. If you're using mean, you should use standard deviation. Body weight of 11 children who attend PD is this. Calculate the IQR. So we have 8.5, 12, 11.9, and 16. Right? So we have to find out. Uh, so what they have given is first quartile is given that is 8.5 median is 12 so q2 is 12 right then mean is given which we do not require here and then third quartile q3 is 16 so q3 minus q1 so 16 minus 8.5 will be 7.5 following measure is not influenced by extreme values that is aqr FEV1 in 100 people shrinks of COPD calculated median value 2 liter. First and third quarter is 1.5 and 3. So, based on this, how many patients have FEV1 between 1.5 and 3? So, obviously, uh, middle 50 percent. So, if it is 100 patients are there and we divide them in equal four of the middle uh, two quarter that is uh, usually 25 plus 25 is equal to 50. Average of absolute deviation of observation from arithmetic mean is known as mean deviation. All are true about standard deviation except it is square root of average of square deviation from observation from arithmetic mean true. Uh, most important measure of dispersion, true, express the same unit, yes. The square of standard deviation is common deviation, no, that is wrong. Last question is left. Which of the following is a relative measure of dispersion when comparing variables which are measured in different units? Coefficient of variation. The researcher measures fasting and blood glucose 100. The mean is 110, standard deviation is 11. CV is ST upon mean into 100. So it is 10 percentage.